Hey everyone, I've seen a lot of you recommend I should cloud gaze as a means of making friends in The Sims 4, but yet I didn't cool. have great results when I tried it. I was looking into why that might be and decided I'd take this channel back to its roots. That's right, today we're investigating nerdy stuff, and I'm sharing some weird things I found about making friends and having fun. I definitely found at least one broken thing. <laughs> so first, let's talk about cloud gazing. This comes with Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat and it's got this weird thing going on with it, which is why I've had mixed results. I think that the reason people like this is that you can sort of pick it, then not need to continually click and pick socials. You've got the other Sim held in captivity <laughs> until it's done. I mean, you probably click around a hundred times to make a friend in Sims 4 and anything that helps with that is useful. The way activities like this work in game is fun and social are constantly moving while you use it. But there's a 5 minute timer and every 5 minutes you get a small amount of relationship gain with the other sim. The thing is, these relationship gains seem to kick in and out randomly. So you've got to sort of pay attention to it as sometimes it just stops giving a relationship. And this explains in part my mixed results. Sometimes it'd go for about 30 minutes, giving you about 5 socials worth of friendship. Other times it would go on for hours, counting as dozens of socials. So what makes this really great is that short period between chunks of friendship game. But if it stops, your sim is lying on their back and staring at the stars, gaining fun and social, but no relationship. The best solution then is to just queue another one up, but it helps to know that this happens and as a result, I'll be using it more often now. So I discovered that it's not random that it stops giving friendship, and it always stops at the same spots assuming needs aren't causing the other sim to outright leave. It stops around 20%, 40%, and 80%. These happen to be the places where your sim would move up to another relationship ranking with the other sim from acquaintance to friend, best friend, and the BFF zone. So knowing this, you can prepare for it to stop. When it does, the sim will lie there gaining nothing but needs, but you can be aware, cancel, and queue up another cloud gazing session. Sometimes it will auto cancel right away, requiring you to do this twice. Okay, so cloud gazing is pretty good and it's very hands off. Let's say you're in a challenge or you wanna play optimally and don't care about the clicking. What would be better? Well, just about any multitasking thing. Just talking is certainly going to compete, but chess has its own passive gains. It gives a bit of social and friendship while having its own timer, and you can spam fast socials like Brighton Day, Flatter, Get to Know, and things like that. In between, each time your sim makes a chess move, you'll get the same small relationship gain you get from cloud gazing and the socials. So this cuts down a bit on the amount of clicking you need to do to get the meter up. How did it compare? Well, it took about 4 hours to get the bar to around 40%, which is friend level with cloud gazing. Chess took an hour and a half. Cloud gazing is still good, and I'll absolutely use it when I'm lazy, now that I know why it's failing. So don't misunderstand here, I was just curious if there is something better that isn't directly talking, and there most definitely is. To make things a little sweeter on the chess side, it has a higher fun gain than staring at clouds shaped like star destroyers and puppies. By the way, why do we call it cloud gazing? I mean, everybody settled on cloud gazing, but it's also stargazing. Uh, I'd like to see astronomy get a little love. So, what is the most fun activity in the game? I did a good bit of digging, and it's probably modded PC games because you gain almost double by doing that. However, it does require a lot of investment into the programming skill to get that. Something worth knowing is that the eSports career for university students, it has a, a seasoned gamer trait that gives you increased fun from computer games. Having this and a modded machine is the most fun a sim could probably have. It's hardly useful, but in playing around with this, I found something utterly broken because modded PC games, the best PCs, and this seasoned gamer trait all stack the multiplier gets so high 
that you can go from zero fun to 100 in seven minutes. Seriously, you can't even see it moving on speed three. It just goes to full. And I found that pretty hilarious. Seasoned gamers have definitely broken their lust for gaming to only need to play it a few minutes to have fun. While computers of different quality do increase fun gains and are very good at it, televisions didn't when I tested them a while back, but seem to work just fine now, and I have no idea why. The best is the large screen from Get Famous, which has a big multiplier, but it isn't twice as fast as its stats in XML would imply. The wall-mounted TVs are all really good ways to gain fun. However, if your sim can't afford a really good TV, you're better off doing any number of things. It's probably more fun to read to a toddler than to watch a bad TV, especially if you pick the public access channel. While I might encourage people to watch public access at times to be better informed, in The Sims 4 it has horrible fun games, half as good as all other channels. What public access is good for is getting playful, but it takes too long to be of real use compared to other methods. Movies don't seem to be better than TV, and you introduce the possibility your sim hates that movie, unless you follow my guide to movies and the traits that impact him, which I'll link in the description. In general, it's common sense. Romantics tend to like romantic movies. All in all, a deep dive into making friends through socials taught me that nearly everything is the same. That's right, we don't need all this. The relationship gains you see from cloud gazing are the same as those from actually talking to a sim and that's probably not right. We kind of knew that gifts are really good at boosting friendship, but what I didn't personally know is that as you gain more friendship, you get less points. It makes sense. It's fairly easy to get an acquaintance, but gets harder to turn a friend into a best friend and it takes even longer for BFFs. You start out getting one and a half points, but end up at half a point. The only traits that greatly impact socials are when you share something in common with another sim and use the traits special social. It's easy to befriend an art lover, putting in disgust favorite artist, or boasting about family to another family oriented sim. In all, the only traits in the game that have a special social that increases friendship are Art Lover, Bookworm, and Music Lover. There aren't nearly enough of them. Mentoring Sims and helping with homework can help a lot making friends, but all in all, I came to realize that we have a ton of socials that, well, don't do anything. The ones that are worth using are Brighton Day, Flatter, Compliment Outfit, Heartfelt Compliment, Hug, and Ask About Day in particular. Also those that are about them, like asking due date or trying to cheer them up. Nearly everything else, like debate vampire existence, is silly and unnecessary. It'd almost be better to have only a third of the socials, but have them do more stuff so that we could use our knowledge of another sim, have a reason to get to know them, and try not to do things that would turn them off. I'm sure you can agree with that unless you happen to enjoy clicking five menus deep to get to group stories. Yes, those also come with Outdoor Retreat and they are good, but I took great storyteller and saw the relationship gain stopped moving. Yep. I'm not even sure it's related. At times it just wouldn't work, which stinks, as they should be a fantastic way to make multiple friends at once. They just stop. And also you can't queue more than one and will frequently find it breaks for some reason. I'd be curious to hear from other people if that is also happening in their games. Stories are really strong at raising relationship with multiple sims while you can only cloud gaze with one. They're really good in theory. Remember, cloud gazing adds a relationship every five minutes? Well, this is three with everyone around. Anyway, this was a fun thing to explore because I like figuring out how things work. It helps me in the game and I'll definitely do a little bit of both cloud gazing and chess to get those three friends I need in my let's play. Happy holidays everyone and have a great day.